Hello everyone, Derek here with a tip today about making sure your balance and contrast adjustments are in the right order when making color adjustments in DaVinci Resolve. This is something where if you do it one way, you'll remain clean and efficient with your workflow. And if you do it another way, you're going to make things a little harder than they have to be. So let me demonstrate exactly what I mean with this. I've got a red clip here that is color managed, so I'm working in DaVinci Wide Gamut, DaVinci Intermediate, and I'm going to show how these balance and contrast adjustments interact with each other. In this clip we have a white wall here in the background, and I have my waveform pulled up so you can see exactly where the red, green, and blue values are. So first I'm going to balance this just to make the white wall white. I'm going to change my balance to linear gamma and put the loom mix at zero. We're going to make a gain adjustment to balance this. To make the white wall white, I'm just going to simply pull the red up to meet the green. About right there. And pull down the blue to meet the green and have this about as white as I can on this left side here, this part of the wall. So now our image is balanced the way we want to, so we're going to go add contrast and watch what happens to the waveform here, this section. As I add contrast, that part of the wall stays white as I go increase in contrast or decrease in contrast. And that's the way we want it to react. Now let's look at it the other way. I'm going to take the same balance adjustment and put it after contrast. I'm going to de disable that one. So now we have the same balanced adjustment. The wall is white again. But now we're going to add contrast before this balance adjustment and watch what happens. By adding contrast, we're separating these values again. The white wall is no longer white. And it happens if you decrease contrast as well. If I go back down here, they separate as well. So you can see how it's beneficial to put your balance adjustment before your contrast adjustment. By keeping it in that spot, you'll be able to make contrast adjustments without changing your balance. This is really helpful if you need to go back and tweak your contrast for certain shots and not have to redo your balance. And it's also helpful for scenes where you can copy and paste a balance adjustment over several clips for the same camera. That way that balance adjustment will hold up even if you need to make contrast adjustments based on each clip. So that's my quick tip for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.